What's up you guys, it's your boy Versace and I'm back at it again with another video. This one's going to be more relaxed, more like a vlog style because I am cooking and getting ready for a New Year's party. So I figured I would record and show y'all, you know, a little cooking segment, do a little something different, be fun. So let's go, let's get started. Alright, I know in that first shot I had was touching the wall, I just washed my hands. I'm going to make sure your little paws are clean. Um, I got like the whole little setup where we're making our mini pigs in a blanket for this party, so I'm just gonna go with it. Um, oh, I forgot I gotta preheat the oven. So, we're gonna preheat the oven. If you're using off brand, you don't have to be too terribly fancy or anything like that. Um, you can be as you know bougie or fancy with this as you want to be, but I'm usually not. You can. Obviously, use whatever brand hot dogs you prefer. What I'm using, I'm just using chicken hot dogs because this is a party. This is not, you know, anything for, like, me and my family. Um, otherwise, we'd probably just use Oscar Mayer. Like, the regular kind. But not everybody eats pork and not everybody eats beef. I feel like chicken is, like, a pretty safe bet. We are, um, I've already pre-boiled these got them nice and juicy they're a lot bigger than they were in the pack very phallic but i'm gonna set up our little station and we're just gonna go for it i was originally thinking about getting like pizza but i figured you know someone was probably either going to do that already um also, you know, I feel like standard, you know, little parties is usually like chips and drinks. So I figured I'd, you know, do some food because everybody always brings drinks. There's always an excess of drinks. I'm going to pop this bitch open. I have our little dough station right there. Little dough boys. Throw that to the side. Cheese, we got the Havaki and we're doing sliced pepper jack. Where we have some spicy ones and then we have some like not so spicy ones. We need some scissors. Put that in the trash pile right there. Cheese out. I'm get a few pieces out. That way we don't have to keep going back in here. So like I said, not all of them are going to be pepper jack. I have some Havarti open because I have burgers. Get a few slices of those out. Alright. And now we're going to spray. We're going to be our little... Um, I'm using a pizza pan because it's the second biggest pan that I have. Um, you can use whatever, you know, pan when you're making, you know, a lot for people. Um, like, I have a big, like, cookie sheet that I could have used, but it's newer, so I don't really feel like um, getting that one all messed up for the sake of a video. This is a little bit easier, and I can just pull the foil off, rinse it down with some soap and water, and go about my day. Um, that's another reason why I'm making these little mini pig in a blanket, because it's low effort. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut them all down the middle. Okay. 
some of these are already split from just boiling. I'll try to cut them down the split part. So my partner got me a GoPro for Christmas. So we're just taking this on a test run before we do something more spicy with the <laughs> with this equipment. So yeah. Another reason to make, you know, these little pig in the blanket, you know, it makes a nice little video. I kind of wanted to do like a little cooking segment on my YouTube channel anyway, you know, for the funsy of it. Because I, sometimes when I'm watching YouTube, I see other people cooking and I'm like, that looks like a lot of fun. I want to do that. I don't know how well received it'll be, but at the same time, I don't really care because, you know, I like to do stuff for myself. If people like it, great. If people don't, it's whatever. Yeah, so sometimes that's just how you have to live your life and just do things for yourself. You don't always have to do something because, you know, you see other people doing it and you might not necessarily like it. So I'm trying it out, you know, I do like cooking on my own. I might not like doing this for YouTube or anything like that, but we're trying it out. So far, so good. We'll see more in the editing phase of it so I'm making these kind of like how I normally do when I'm having like a um pig in the blanket kind of night it's like a really easy like struggle meal like I said you can make this as like fancy or as cheap as you want it like if you want to use the struggle slices which are like the little pre-wrapped craft single off brand like wrapped in like the individual slice um yellow cheese you can if you want to use like the cheapest hot dog your store your local grocery store sells you can you can use the off-brand crescent rolls or you can use like on-brand crescent rolls like pillsbury or whatever totally up to you all right the only difference is so I am going to, because usually what I would do is I take the hot dog, one of these triangles, um, and a piece of cheese, a leg cheese, hot dog, and I roll it up. But I'm making many ones because I want it to be more finger food esque for you know this party. Um, I'm not hosting, obviously. Cause then I'd have a whole lot more things to do than making a YouTube video. I probably wouldn't have time to do this because um, I'd be cleaning up and setting up and stuff. So, but we're going to a local furs place. I'm grateful that they're hosting. This is like my first um, party in a long, long, long time since I've gotten off the of third shift. I'm working third shift, like it's kind of inconvenient um, socially. Money-wise, it's pretty great. Like, you need money. Third shift is the way to go. But socially, it kills you. Because, like, when I'm awake, my friends are sleeping, like, on my days off. And then when I'm sleeping, <laughs> everybody's awake. So even, like, when you have a day off and you can stay up or whatever, by the time people are ready to actually, like, go out and do stuff, if you're lucky enough to, like, you know, get, like, a normal, like, Friday or Saturday or Sunday off most people you know are going to want to do stuff when you're like really tired and ready to like fall asleep or by the time like you wake up or whatever they're ready to like kind of turn in like their night is kind of wrapping up there's like a sweet spot that if you get up you know early enough you'll be able to catch everybody but that's kind of rare sometimes um unfortunately i didn't really have the weekends off so I couldn't really link up with anybody and hang out and do stuff that I wanted to do um go to the bar you know party anything like that because you know who's having a party at like Tuesday or Wednesday or anything like that in the middle of the week so yeah I'm lucky now that my schedule is rotating so I have the opportunity to do fun stuff now Hopefully, eventually, I might start hosting my own stuff, but I kind of need more space. Alright. So, I'm just gonna 
a little piece of cheese, put it on there. Get one of these. Some of them are kind of cut thick, but doesn't really matter too terribly. Um, so these are going to be the jalapeno, well, not the jalapeno, the pepper jack. Pepper jack cheese, my bad. Just kind of like absently talking. While I do this, But when I used to host parties, um, when I lived in South Carolina, I would occasionally make stuff like this. Like I said, it's, you know, it's as cheap as you want to make it or, you know, intermediate or, you know, expensive as you want it to be. This really depends on your budget. Like if you, you're trying to have like a, a budget conscious party, you know, you don't want to break the bank or you rather splurge more on the alcohol or like other snacks or something like that, you know, you can, you don't have to, you know, get the most expensive thing, the most expensive products to make this. There's some other little fun things that I can do videos on later on down the road if I decide to keep up with this cooking segment. Like I said, it more depends on if I really enjoy this, you know, editing and actually filming it and stuff like that. Cleanup was already going to happen because I was already going to make this for the party like I was saying earlier. Doesn't really matter if other people, you know, like the content or not. The oven is preheated, so that's great. Since we're good on cheese for now, so I'm gonna put the cheese in this extra thing of crescent rolls back in the refrigerator so they can stay nice and cool and don't start to get melted. Because the kitchen's about to get really warm now that the oven is done preheating and it's gonna be on for a minute. I'm gonna squeeze as many of these on here as I can, but obviously I'm gonna have to do this in batches. Might have to break out my other pan. We'll see though. But yeah. I feel like I've been away for a while. Um, just life stuff. Uh, hoping, you know, this New Year's party will also be, you know, a great way to start off my new year as far as like trying to switch things up, like I said, with like my schedule. Also, you know, um, in February, I have top surgery, so that's also a really exciting venture in news. Not really stuff that I talk about often in my other um, avenues of social media. So try to stay pretty focused because I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I feel like when you get a little too personal on social media, um, people really start to not care. And it's kind of sad when you think about it, where it's like, oh, well, you know, I thought that we were like formulating like a, a community or something like that, you know, some kind of bond, but you only cared about one specific type of content from me. And I see that happening with like other creators, like when people are like artists and their main like Twitter or whatever is just drawing art and or you know doing art of like a specific niche and when they like variate from that it's like they see a drop in likes and retweets and that's not really all important to a lot of people it's not really important to me but at the same time it still kind of stings a little bit i wouldn't say it hurts but it does sting a little bit when it's like dang you know I thought we were formulating a little community together, you know. Letting y'all get to know me, but, meh, yeah, I don't know. Just thinking out loud. It's my first official vlog where I get to just, like, ramble on. I know some people like that in their content, but not everybody. Alright. 
more of this is going to be um, Pepper Jack than it is going to be the Havarti because I feel like I personally I kind of like spicy stuff um, it's not going to be like too spicy like terribly spicy but it's definitely going to be you know has a lot more a little bit more kick to it than the Havarti which I'm going to do with the other half of the pan Okay, I'm gonna start the Havarti. I'm probably saying that wrong. Someone in the comments will probably correct me or something like that. This is how it's actually pronounced. I'll look it up later. I don't know. We'll see if I remember or not. I'm trying to get this done before my partner gets home and causes a little bit of chaos. Because we both have to get ready. Because after I do this, if I have time, I might go ahead and edit and post this. If not, I will save it for later. Then get ready for the party. Let's get a shower. Obviously, I gotta clean up the kitchen a little bit. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to be really afraid of like opening these things. I was like afraid it was gonna like explode in my face and like, you know, leave me looking like a war victim. Now as an adult I just like, I don't know, maybe it's my lack of will to care, my lack of will to live or something like that, but uh, now I just be smacking these things around. I also used to like, before I realized you could just smack them on the counter, um, I would try to take like the butter knife and like stick it in there. And like try to get it to pop but then like the fear of like oh what if the, the pressure what if the pressure of you know me sticking this in there is gonna like make it fly back into my face and like stab me or like stab me in the neck or something that, that became overwhelming so I was like you know what <laughs> we'll just smack it on the counter it, it's really not that big of an issue okay we don't have to make it more extreme than it really needs to be making more dangerous than what <laughs> It actually is. I don't know if y'all also had a similar fear, but yeah. So that was kind of funny. Thinking back on it now. Alright. Yeah. I'm hoping also next year. Maybe. I'll start hosting more stuff once my, you know. Now that I'm back on day shift, my days get a little bit more, um, well, my schedule, like, evens out, and also once I get more acclimated, obviously I'm gonna have a lot of downtime from when I get top surgery here in February. I don't know if I'm gonna be hosting anything because I would be, like, healing, and I can't really go too wild or too crazy or want to, like, push myself too, too far and too soon after surgery, so... I guess that's something else also we'll see. I was also thinking about doing like um pudding shots, but I figured I would just not do it just now because um I've met a few of these furs before and but I've not met all of them and I don't know um I've only been to like, you know, one like meetup in this like area since I've moved up here. Um, and I've slowly been trying to like socialize and like branch out, which is, it's kind of hard sometimes when you move to like a whole new area. Like not only do you have to like start socializing with like your, you know, your normie community, but you also have to like, you know, get to know your like furry community and stuff like that. And that's, it's kind of hard, but like, um, I've only been to like one of the meets. My partner's been going to a lot of this, um, individual who's hosting, um, like shindigs and stuff like that so that's my little gateway into this party and into their community um, so we're doing this as a trial run because I also feel like it's rude to show up to somebody's house empty-handed that's just how I was raised it really has nothing to no bearing on like the furry community or anything like that I don't know how other furries feel but in my personal opinion just how I was raised it just feels rude to just show up to people's places um, that you've been invited to empty-handed, um, even if you're, like, you know, financially struggling, I feel like, you know, you could 
at the very minimum, like, go and get, like, you know, great value, like, off-brand dollar store, like, chips or, like, um, a bottle of, like, you know, off-brand soda or something like that, you know, like, off-brand soda, like, at the most, you might spend, like, what, um, it used to be, like, 50 cents, but it's probably more, like, close to 80 cents now, but, you know, under a dollar or something like that, you know, just search around, um, figure something out or, you know, get crafty with it like me like i said you can you know get the dollar struggle slices of like the yellow cheese wrapped in the plastic those it tastes just just as good honestly you know especially after you know drinking um <laughs> you can get like the cheap hot dogs like like a cheap pack of hot dogs a dollar the cheap cheese a dollar these crescent rolls that are like, um, I want to say like a dollar sixty or something like that. I saw at my store. Um, so basically, you're you're you know you're feeding a good bit of people for under five dollars. So you don't always have to like go above and beyond. Even just showing up with like you know a little bag of chips, you know, a dollar bag of chips, you know that's better than showing up like empty-handed but like i said that's just me that's my personal opinion i'm not really anybody so you know you can take or leave that if you will but you know, it just kind of shows like an appreciation because this person's opening their home to me you know and others um they already have the stress of having to clean up and like you know provide the venue um and like the main thing so like the least you can do is take a little bit of the stress off of them by you know offering to you know you know save them a little bit of money by providing some snacks and stuff or you know mixers and if you're able to splurge on some drinks and some alcohol or you know some pizza cool great but yeah i'm doing this as like a little trial run because i don't really know the group all that well and I don't want to like splurge on like making like alcoholic drinks or anything like that if on like a certain type of drink because I was thinking of doing like like I said pudding shots um I don't like jello shots I don't like jello like that and don't like vodka um the difference is because most people seem to never have heard of pudding shots until like I mentioned in like the group chats is that um Pudding shots are usually made with, like, cream liqueur and, like, schnapps and stuff like that. My favorite pudding shot um, is, like, a slippery nipple or a buttery nipple. I think it's slippery nipple, though. I'll have to look it up again. But basically, I feel like buttery nipple makes more sense. What it is is butternut schnapps, butter, uh, not butternut, <laughs> butterscotch schnapps, uh, butterscotch pudding, and it has like I think a shot of like Bailey's but what I use is um Amarula uh not Amaretto but Amarula which is like um it's like an African um an African cream liquor made from like um a specific like a type of like nut um like a like a nut tree found in Africa ha 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 nut tree um yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right put these in the oven but yeah that's one of my favorites there's also like the um mudslide which is like a um chocolate pudding and it's like irish cream liquor or like a bailey's or something like that um, i'm gonna put this in i don't really have like a set time that i put these in for i just kind of like let them do their own thing until like, i can smell them i know that's like a weird way to like cook but <laughs> that's how i i know they're ready um obviously i don't have a whole lot left um so i think i'm gonna get my other pan out oh, shit. Ah. Ah, oh no <laughs> everything's falling apart <laughs> my life is in shambles all right, we get a little bit of that on there. Boom. I'm gonna finish this out. Let me slip this in. I could have put this if I had a smaller 
a slightly smaller pan. I might have put it in my air fryer, but let's see how that came out. It would have been pretty interesting experiment, but we will try that at a later date. We gotta, we gotta get to getting. But yeah, I feel like after this uh, little meetup or whatever, I can, you know, better judge the group. I haven't really been talking in a lot of group chats as of late because the similar reason as to why I haven't really been socializing a whole lot, you know, because being on a different shift, um, like I, I know some chats have like international furs and stuff like that who, you know, you can talk to, but like, I don't know, it's just not the same. Um, it's also like more dead during certain times. Like if you're not awake during those times, um, normally you don't really notice it. It's like, yeah, other people are, like, you know, awake and vibing and stuff, like, on the weekends, on, like, their off days. But, like, like I said, I wasn't really off on the weekends. I was working, so I wasn't even able to participate in those active moments on the internet. So, I've just been kind of feeling isolated and secluded and kind of depressed. And so, that I just had to get off night shift. Like I said, the money was good, but, like, the social interaction my like social death my you know social life dying um was kind of hitting my depression a little too hard so and obviously i got a little too much pepper jack i did not count it out properly when i was grabbing them out of the pack got a little too excited but that's okay you know what because it's food it's not the type of food that you need to like throw in the oven. It's cheese. You can just even though I'm lactose intolerant, so I'll probably end up regretting that later. But you know, cheese is eating. So these bad boys are done. Another little cute idea that y'all can do is y'all can, um, especially for a furry or like a pup meet or you know, pup party or anything like that, pet play. Um, you can put them in a little dog bowl. You know, you can get a metal dog bowl from, you know, I think uh, Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, wherever, and or Walmart. I got this for like three fifty eight, I think, but it's probably going to be different wherever y'all live at. But it's like a cute idea, but since I am going, I'm going to put it in one of these. Um, they also need to cool off a little bit, but yeah. You know, I just cleaned up the kitchen a while. These were baking, and once they made the kitchen and... My apartment smelled all well, nice like a bakery. I pulled them out, made sure they're done, browned on the bottom. I broiled them a little bit longer because my oven is a little messed up and it doesn't really uh, brown the tops of them. So I broiled it for a little bit and they're basically done. So I hope everybody likes them. Um, wish me luck on this party and you know, I hope y'all have a great rest of your year and I hope y'all have a stellar fantastic new year and i will see y'all there and if you haven't heard this today i love you and i hope y'all have a great day bye